Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is La Petite Somme. Uh, this is a new mod map um, by AG Modding, AG Modding. Uh, it will use 116.3 megabytes, which gives you some indication as to the size. This is a very small, very basic map. Um, which will become very apparent in a moment. There's a couple of tiny little issues with it. Nothing major. There are there are going to be some things I think will put people off. But there is a a quality to it. I think in its being so basic, there's a charm. You'll see as we go around. Um, the map is inspired by a small village located in Picardy in the Somme region of France. Um, which is northern France and we start here on the map scenery is nice the landscape is is great um, there's a few clunky bits here and there um, we'll have a look on the map and that's it that's the map of the entire area it can, can be potentially on a two times map that's the size of it there's one main cell point there's the store and there's the laterie which is the dairy the dairy's there because you've got a cow farm i mean that's in essence that's it these markings here these grass markings are grass fields that you can buy if i click on those um on new farmer which is what i do my map tours on this is what you start with so you do start with a few fields um you do start with one grass field there's another one there one there um that one is a grass field that we'll get to in a little bit um it's a bit puzzling that one um and then there's one up here as well field prices aren't too expensive either that's with that says value zero well that's a result get field eight while you can it doesn't cost anything um the rest as far as now will have prices and the prices do vary with the size of the field as they normally do 33 grand 37 grand that's up to field 25 which i think is the biggest 345 22 314 so nothing horrendous now a couple of things that are omitted that again may be something for you that will cause you not to want to play it um there is no forestry there's no forest there are no trees to cut down and there's no biogas plant either now there are placeables for biogas plants there are placeables for cell points so you know there's plenty of placeables for things but it doesn't start with them you don't have a biogas plant you don't have um so um where are we going to start we're up here actually right up by the shop this isn't going to take too long um we're going to whiz round into the store and i'm going to lease a pickup because all of our machinery is down at the main farm now on new farmer farm manager and start from scratch each one you start with exactly the same machinery 440 slots used out of 1299 which still seems fairly high considering how small the map is but you do start with a, a, a fair bit of equipment not a huge amount but a fair bit um if you sell everything you can get that slot count down to 291. now this could be the the bare bones basic kind of map you're looking for the landscape is sweeping it, like i say there's a certain charm I, I can't quite put my finger on it um your buy sell um repair no your sell repair and customize point is there your buy point is here at the store um, and the reset point is also here out the front now as you can see the, the detail some bits are a little bit blurry here and there it's not highly detailed everywhere but in other areas it is the farm is an absolute cracker i i love you'll see when we get there but then when we look at the road here the road markings you've got a light side and a dark side of the road all the way around and the actual lines in the road don't quite match up um it's a small thing but it's there it's visible um that could be the conversion over from pc from making it on pc to console but it is there and it is visible um so what i'll do is we'll just jump in grab a pickup doesn't have to be anything fancy just to get us around like so 
So the first thing we're going to do is head up to, it says on the um, website mods hub, it has one cooperative, which is the main sale point, Unial, which is just to the north of us. I mean, I've been to France a few times, and I've seen stuff on telly, and it does have, the buildings are right, you know, it, it has that feel, that quality to it. It's very narrow. I haven't come across any traffic whatsoever. So that won't be anything that will necessarily annoy you. Or you may find that without traffic on, it's lacking something. Again, you know, I'm just pointing out what's here, what isn't here. It's up to you to decide how you feel about that. That's, that's your decision to make. So the sell point's up here. The rest of the map you can't buy and the, the boundaries are pretty close to the sort of edges of the map. But I suppose with that, you get that view distance. It goes out a long way. It looks like it goes on for quite a long way, which is also another nice feature of it. So your cell point is just here. What we'll do is come up here and we'll go across one. So yeah, you've got Laterie e and Uniel. They're, they're the only two cell points. That's it. There are no custom crops on this. It's standard crop types. Um, but obviously without a biogas plant there's no barn cell point or anything like that so it, it may be a kind of starter upper kind of thing that you might decide i'll get it and i'm going to add to it i'm going to put my cell points and we'll find some mods i'm going to put you know or you might just decide you know what i'm just going to run it as a dairy operation do a bit of bit of arable farming pick up a few contracts to make some money contracts did i say that contracts are available and they pay out quite well actually for the size of fields I mean, all right, that's potato harvesting, but yeah, 4,600, 8,210, you know, the fields aren't massive and the prices are pretty good for the contracts available. Um, forestry, that was... <laughs> there may have been a weird skip earlier on. When I got to that point, I said, oh, so yeah, there's no biogas plant. And I couldn't remember the other thing. Forestry was the word I was looking for. Right, we're going to head down. I'm going to take a left in a minute and we're going to go across the countryside. The tracks are quite bumpy. Again, it adds a nice quality to it. I, I like the, the topography. It could have just been all made fairly flat. But there's some nice features on the terrain, which again stands out while we're on the features of terrain. Um, something I've been meaning to do, and I've done a couple of times on map tours, is looking at the landscaping tool. Um, something that does come up quite a lot on maps when they come out is landscaping and the texture tool, the grass textures. Um, are the grass textures ones where you've got a grass that grows, or is it a flat texture? On this one, it's a flat texture. So if you do any landscaping and you want to put grass down, the grass isn't the growable kind, it is a flat texture. Um, whether that will change, whether this will get an update, I don't know. Whether that was always intended, I don't know, but that's the way it stands. Now, the mod hub doesn't say whether it's seasons ready or seasons compatible. Um, like I say, it's, it's fairly basic. And we are out on the eastern side of the map now. And out here, we've got, and weirdly, it says later e in the actual store menu, but here it says dairy shop, which I would have thought that would have been in French. But that's your dairy sell point, just there. They're not marked on the ground, but if we do what I often do now when I get a little bit flummoxed, um, if I go on to later e, tag place, there you go, there's your sell point. Um, and then round the corner here, is the livestock market good abattoir bon abattoir that's what it means isn't it um so our trigger here for livestock market for buying selling loading or unloading um is just here and the map edge is literally there that, that's it i'm on the map edge you can't go any further than that but it does extend right off so it does look like it goes on please tell me i'm not stuck on the map edge Bear with me a second. I just had to reset myself back to the car. I was stuck on the map edge. Um, there are some bits of this where, like all these side bits here, you can't buy. 
whether these will be mowable or available for you to kind of use or utilize because you can't own the land i don't know how you'd fare with that so we've come down this track here and then all the way out to here and as you can see i'm off the beaten path here but we can't actually that's what we can buy this we can't you can't buy the periphery so i don't know how whether you'd get away with it the map edge is right there where it comes across yeah i mean i don't know it's um hmm. it's hard to put into words but strange enough this um there's, like i say there's just something about it it's, it's go cool. it's by no means perfect but it's still a cool little map uh right what we're going to do is head down to the next bit so we're heading down to the main farm that in essence is it that's the that's the main store that's the latery and the livestock market that's all that's on it and then the farm so we'll head down to that in a second just got to remember where the turning is that i need I think it's a little bit further on i, I mean having no traffic it's weird because when you're on a map and there's traffic it can often drive you mad especially if the speeds are a little bit slower or every time you pull out there seems to be cars coming but it does add an element that makes the map feel a little bit more kind of alive. There's, there's stuff going on. I'm driving around now thinking it does seem odd. The absence of vehicles seems a bit peculiar. But I suppose if you're right out in the countryside, like this place is, there's not necessarily going to be loads of traffic whizzing by every five minutes. It might be like this most of the day. You might not get any traffic at all. Very bumpy down here. Now this is part of the farm and when you buy the farm if you start on farm manager or start from scratch you don't own it um we get this pasture now this is brings me on to the next oddity i guess um what we'll do while we're here then is we'll look at our start equipment so we go to garage let me scroll across um so we start with uh massive ferguson 7719 case maxim cvx uh, new holland tx considering it's such a small farm start with three tractors um, we've got a TX32 Harvester, Agriliner Trailer, Header for the TX32, then we've got a Cultivator, Cedar, we've got a Baler, um, a Water Transport Tank for the animals, a Weight and the Grain Silo that you own. Now, under um, Placeables, there are a couple of mods that the map maker has added in. This is where it's a bit peculiar. So you've got the Large Cow Pasture, which it says their mod um, and you've got the cow pasture there that one holds 200 that holds 100 so this cow pasture ties up with this this is this here but it's not available for you to sell you can't sell it it's here um, if I go onto the map and we look at what we start off with on um, new farmer if I sell this plot here 190,000 that sells this plot and it also sells the main farm area so these two are linked so you get the cows there and you get the cows there but if I try and sell this now it comes up with that you cannot sell this land while you still own placeable objects on it you have to sell those these objects first I, I don't have the ability to sell them but here's the other weird thing I can't get the trigger to work putting animals in for buying selling loading or unloading i can't find a trigger point there's a water trough there's a feed trough in the middle i've been all around this field clicking l3 to try and find the trigger for loading or unloading if i open up the menu i get nothing come up for animal dialogue box so what i did off screen was thought okay what i'll do is i'll get some animals at the main farm i'll drive them over in a trailer and unload them you can't because there's no trigger so I'm not sure. I'm assuming this is going to need to be updated. It's great there's a pasture, but unfortunately, I went all around the field, clicking and looking, nothing came up. I, I did wonder maybe whether in, in it being put down, maybe the trigger had moved slightly, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So that's unfortunate because I looked straight away and thought, oh, that's cool. You get you know you get a cow pasture, but it was not to be. We close that off. So we're going to head from there down to the main farm.
So, as we come around the bottom now, and this is what I mean about the top building, well, the store seemed to be a little bit blurry, not a lot of detail. And then you get this building here, this, and it looks fantastic. I, I, it looks great. The texture and the detail. Um, we come back onto the road, and then we come round into the farm. And the thing I like about this is the fact it's spread across the yard, uh, across the road. Like the farm's grown up over time, and it's and it's open. It's all open plan. Again, it has a really nice feel to it. It looks good. I, you know, I don't know why. Even down to the pile. I know people don't like piles of rubbish everywhere and that kind of thing. Now these aren't pick upable. We can't pick them up. And the same with the bags here. They're just here for aesthetics. But we do have a bunker silo just there. If I open my menu again, so we've got a bunker silo just there. We've got some shelter around the back. Another big building there, which has got a harvester in. Now this again, we only own up to about here, I think, is the boundary. But you can walk right out across here. So whether or not, again, will it be usable? You know, maybe, maybe not. So, big building here with your harvester in. And then we come across the road into the actual farm itself. All the machinery is tucked away very nicely. All our vehicles, all three tractors. Um, this is your cow barn. We've got feed triggers and there's a hay tr uh, straw trigger, I think it's just in there. But our animal dialogue box is here on the main farm. So for buying, selling, loading or unloading is just here. That gate opens, which can take us down into the main pasture where I've just bought some animals. Our manure pit and our slurry pit are just there. And I think that's the milk trigger. It kind of makes sense it would be. There's a hazard marked area um, because the water trigger is just here. So the trough is on the inside, but the trigger's on the outside. There's remnants of bits from... Is it the... Uh, Old Stream Farm, isn't it? The pig pen and Old Stream Farm look like this. Um... So yeah, there's your water trigger, feed trigger and straw trigger are through there. Cows are out in the field, sorry, I bought a couple and they're up there on the hill. There's also a trough just there, so I think you can put a bale or something in there if you want to. Now as we head round, we'll close the gate. There is no um, sleep through the night trigger, so you might want to find a placeable, whether it's a doormat, deck chairs, you know, the various ones available, so you could put it at the farm if you want to, or if you want to have a separate one, that's entirely up to you. Workshop trigger is through the back here, in the in this, this barn here in the corner. Um, we have got chicken coop around the corner here. Buy and sell for chickens is there. Feed trough is just inside, but the trigger is on the outside, and the egg pallet spawn point is just there for chickens. And then as we come across, I don't know what it is, but I don't know why, why, I just like the, just like the layout of it. Um, we've got a line point just there, and this is the silo we start with. So the silo on the outside for taking things out of the silo, for putting it into the silo is in here. But if you sell that silo, because it's integral to the building, placing it back there again, I think is going to be almost impossible. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Not that one. We go to garage. If I sell the silo, there's a load of stuff in it. You do start with stuff in it on New Farmer. So if I sell all that, as you can see, it's gone. And it's gone from inside there. I wouldn't rate your chances of trying to place another silo in exactly the same location because it's a building. It's, it's just not going to let you. So, I mean, adding to that would probably be a good idea. Um, but it's a bit of a risk. Um, there's a ladder up to the roof if you want to go up onto the roof. And then through here we've got a water point and the aqua trans we start with. So that's the water point. And some more barn space down the side here. That I don't think does anything. I thought maybe it was like a little jet wash point or something like that, but I I think it's just here for aesthetics as well. And there's a gate this side of the pasture. There's the one where I um, did the sort of buy point and over the other side of the cow pasture there's another gate so access into the field from all different angles um, and that's it <laughs> that really that's it that's the map that's all of it um, this may be 
right up your street and you think you know what i've been waiting for a french map i've been waiting for or another we've had a couple of french maps um big barn sort of place up here for putting bales and stuff if you want to and out to the side there we've got a couple of little houses just tucked away uh place a blower i guess now this does not anywhere on the website say there are any required mods for this so normally when i come onto a map tour i disable all my mods um so that i can see what you start with and that way i'm not searching through all the mods i've got installed but sometimes you get a blank spot like that and there's supposed to be a mod on it now i don't know if i don't think they're supposed to be there there's nothing that says required mods um and that's that's it that's the map that's la petite somme uh by ag ag modding um yeah i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching